It's a great goal. That's a clean goal that should have counted because the league is very good. They missed nothing on this goal. Nothing. When is dang it's Thursday? It's Thursday. Hat Picks! Hello friends, Steve Dangle here and welcome to another edition of Steve's Hat Picks where we take a look at the best from around the NHL over the past week. The third round is upon us. Well, how do we get here? The second round. Dude, heading into this season, I did not think that Jake Ottinger versus Philip Grubauer would be a tight goalie duel, but Grubauer did well for the Seattle Kraken in some pretty key moments, including this one. The other thing that's good for them is their penalty kill. I mean, they've now killed... Sooner with a drop. Save man, rebound. Oh, another save by Grubauer off Sagan. It looked like he just got the tip of the glove on the follow by Sagan. High and wide, and then... Off the ensuing face-off here at 5-on-5. Five five. It's almost like this guy was nominated for the Vesna two years ago. That's that's it, by the way. It took one bad season, and we're all like, well, I guess he just can't play. Maybe hockey's not for him, I don't know. Well, turns out he can still go. That's a hat pick. And after all, they've been given lots of reason to cheer, including this goal from Game 6. The 16 shots on net for Seattle in the first period. Tied for their fifth most in a game this season as Yanni Gord brings it across. The shot board still tilted Seattle's way. Right down Broadway, shot score! Bjorkstrand sets up Tolvanen on the rush. The Kraken strike again. They can get back to work and getting out of their own zone is what's important for them. And this is a real patient play here by Yanni Gord to hit the brakes and get some more room. And because of that, he's able to hit the second wave of attack, which is Oliver Bjorkstrand and Bjorkstrand with a real deft pass to the back door to that play, the saves, the goal horn, which I think is underrated, the fans, everything. Ooh, the jerseys, the jerseys. Do I need a Kraken jersey? I might need a Kraken jersey. That's a hat pick. But unfortunately for the Kraken, their season would come to an end and it would come off of the stick of a rookie. I am wrong a lot. I wasn't wrong about this guy at the beginning of the playoffs. Here's Wyatt Johnston with the dagger. Alexiak an intercept. Harley tries the opposite side. The Donoff sails one the length of the ice. No icing as Johnston's there. Johnston to the backhand. Score! You think it would be icing, but Johnston's first on the scene, and look at the hand here. I mean. For Grubauer, he's setting up as perhaps Johnson may go around the net. Johnson recognizes that Grubauer is flat on his goal line and he elevates his puck on his backhand quickly. And perhaps the biggest goal of the rookie's of his career is that one right there as it gives some breathing room for the Dallas Stars here in Game 7. Woo! Feathery, silky smooth, that is nasty stuff from the 20 year old. He's 20! That's a hat pick. And I know you might be saying, Steve, he's 20? Yes, 20 and one day old when he scored that goal. Now for our next hat pick, uh, the Leafs. Now Steve's hat picks are a highlight video, which means they're, they're only gonna be in it once. Here's William Nylander tying the game to very briefly save the Leafs season. McCabe and Brody. Out comes Tavares, Nylander's on the move. William Nylander busting in, scores! Great job of just handling the pressure in their defensive zone and creating a little space. Right there, the little shuttle pass, and then how about this little quick lister? Like, I'm sad the season is over, but you have to admit that's nasty. Bobrovsky was so difficult to beat in this series, but Nylander finds the open ice that was so hard to come by for Toronto, gets around Montour, and beats Bobrovsky clean as a whistle. Mm, that's a hat pick. Here, let me beat you to it. And then what happened? Here's Achari trying to get it to the front, and Gudis knocked that away. And now it's a three on two the other way. Cousins with Gudis driving the lane. Nick Cousins scores! It's a series winner for Nick Cousins. And the Florida Panthers 
are headed to a South Eastern Conference Final. To keep the game alive, Cousins coming in with a middle drive there. You got a forward back in position. Radko Gudis gets to the front of the net as a screen and Nick Cousins scores the first goal of this series and the last one. That's true. That's the thing that happened. It's a great goal. That's a clean goal that should have counted because the league is very good. They missed nothing on this goal. Nothing. When is dang it's Thursday? It's Thursday. Cannot wait. That's a hat pick, begrudgingly. For our next hat pick, we go to the New Jersey Carolina series. I mean, the hat pick is Timo Meyer's pass, which was amazing on this goal. But look at the whole play, starting all the way back in the devil zone. And Chatfield will get in the red line and send it back in. Graves goes after it. Now the board's for Marino. Hands it off, and it's flipped up by Mercer. McLeod has got it. Cross ice pass, Timo Meyer back in front, scores! Dawson Mercer tips it home, and the Devils get the first goal in Game 5. It comes around the wall. We showed New Jersey breaking out of the red last time and creating a scoring chance. Well, here we go again. McLeod lays it out wide, and this saucer by Meyer right across to the far post, and you're hoping that Mercer's going to get there. You know Anderson will be there, too, because the pass is a very long pass, so it gives Anderson a chance to get there. But really, I thought he would have snuffed them a little more. Ew! I mean, take your pick. Uh, getting out of a tight bind in your own zone, breaking it out through the neutral zone, sick pass as soon as you cross the line in the offensive zone, and finishing it off. This is why the Devils got so far. That and they actually got some saves this season. But th they're a team who is able to move the puck in a very nice way. They got the skill. And that's a hat pick. Because the Devils are such a good team, a lot of people didn't think that this series would be over so fast. And it wasn't. It was over fast. Boo. Oh yeah, no, no, it was good. It was good, right? Oh, His thank you. Thank you very much. It was very funny. That's just barely play it off for Curry. Curry. Down a yes for five. Step for Curry. Curry being watched by Marino. Goes back to Goss's there. Curry up with it again. The Goss's there. Across, cut to the enemy, waiting, shoots, scores! Yes, for Foss, tips it in. Carolina wins it in overtime. And the storm will surge on as the Hurricanes advance to the Eastern Conference Final. And then Goss's spear lays it over to cut to the enemy. He rakes the wrist shot, and right there, it goes off the Foss. These Hurricanes are a wagon, dude. Boy, is Barry Kokaniemi seems to like going to the Final Four. Imagine getting rid of him. Imagine that. Imagine doing that. Jesper Faust with the tip in front. That dude is having an unreal season for Carolina. They keep finding these players. They can't keep getting away with it. Uh, is this guy undervalued? Okay, we're going to sign him to below market value and we're going to win. And everyone just lets them. Anyway, what a goal. What a series. That's a hat pick. Two hat picks left, and for our second last hat pick, Connor McDavid is fast. It's, are, we, are we allowed to just say that? That's not public knowledge. We're not allowed to just say it. Back to Bouchard. Now it's Nugent Hopkins. Drops it back. Bouchard shoots. Blocked by Eichel. And the Oilers forced to retreat. McDavid quickly back in the zone. Here he comes. McDavid. Backhander. He scores! Connor McDavid, second of the night, has the Oilers back within one. Here's the shot block as puck comes to the outside. Everybody has to scramble to make sure they're out before Connor McDavid winds this up. A quick move to the outside, the backhand follows it up in his own rebound. Not your typical power play goal, but a typical goal from Connor McDavid. And he makes it a one goal game. And prior to the start of tonight, only the fifth player in NHL history to hit 170 points. He's, a, he's the fastest kid alive. Hurt my feelings to just realize I was referencing a 16-year-old movie, I think. Super bad. It's, yeah, yeah. Feels old, doesn't it? That came out the year I started making YouTube videos. Oh, I just feel worse. Anyway, this is why you can't write the Oilers off ever, ever. In any game where they're down or any game where they're up, 
uh, you can't write them off. As a non-Oiler fan, like, they're my favorite out-of-market team to watch, for better or for worse. Are they down? Game's not over. Are they leading? Unfortunately for them, the game's not over. But when they needed a goal the most, that guy showed up more often than not. Connor McDavid, a human hat pick. And for our final hat pick, Jonathan Marcheseau with a natural hat trick in an elimination game to secure a spot in the final four. Back come the Vegas Golden Knights. Marcheseau finds Eichel. Eichel waiting now. Jack Eichel controlling. Almost got away. Here's a shot for Marcheseau, and he scores! The Vegas Golden Knights have tied it in the second. Barbershop tried to slide it. He got it to Eichel. Eichel being trapped by Nurse. Oilers recover. Dreisaitl. It's in his skates. Now it's taken over by Barbashev. Over to Martinez. Winding up. Shooting. Skinner. The save. And the Golden Knights score. Two straight in the second period. And that's the go-ahead goal from Jonathan Marcheseau. With Stone Park in front of the net. Eichel takes a look. Petranzo shoots. Skinner the save. Rebound right to Marcheseau. Marcheseau to Petrangelo. Petrangelo to Marcheseau. Rister, and he scores! A hat trick for Marcheseau in the second period. Has the Vegas Golden Knights up by two. Would you believe me if I told you that Jonathan Marcheseau played every game in the first round and did not have a goal? It doesn't make any sense! It does not make any sense. As a Jonathan Marcheseau fantasy holder this season, he was so frustrating. Do you know how many times I was this close to dropping him and I thought, you know what, he plays tonight just one more game. And he'd throw up like three points, followed by none. And you go, I'm gonna drop this guy and he gets a hat trick! I don't know if he qualifies as streaky, but I tell you what, if he keeps this streak up for another month, they're gonna win the cup. That's a hat pick. So, that is it for this week's edition of Steve's Hat Picks. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends fast. It's like Foss. They're spelled the same. Don't stop. Stop booing. Stop booing. I'm very good. What kind of joke is that?